that's right. The FAU game, you said you were as sore as you've been in a long time. Week two, are you still feeling sore? Things working themselves out. I feel um, a little bit sore, but definitely not as sore as last week. So, I feel good. What's the difference? Is it you were hit less? Is it that you recovered better? What's the difference? Yeah, I, I think my body's just more, like, kind of getting used to it. So, um, as the season goes on, I feel like I'll just be less and less sore. Trevor uh, O'Mill, Joey from the Columbus Dispatch. Justin, you put up stats in your three first two games that are pretty similar to Dwayne. Have you heard from him or talked with him much? Uh, no, not really. Um, I'm sure he's focused on his season, and um, I'm definitely focused on uh, our team. So I, I haven't really talked to him much. Front row right, Austin. Justin, every time we've talked to you, you've, you've kept the focus on how much more you think you can do, how much better you can get. But through two games, and Joey mentions the staff and stats, has this gone about as well as you thought or better than you expected for the first two games? Um, I'm not really like focused on stats, to be honest. Uh, I just really focus on wins. So as long as we win, no matter if I go, if I throw the ball, if I have zero completions or zero yards, as long as we get the dub, uh, I think that's all that matters. There was a, a moment there, I think maybe it was in the third quarter, where Ben Vick was getting after it with the Cincinnati guy, and you went and broke yeah. that up. Yeah. Is that, an, do you consider that an important part of your leadership, uh, taking control a little bit? I mean, yeah, Coach Day just emphasized um, that the coaches all week just, just emphasized that they talk a lot of trash. So, I mean, there's no reason to talk trash to a team you're blowing out. So I, I just tried to get get them away from him and uh, just uh, kind of avoid a flag in that situation. Uh, middle row, second row middle, Bruce. Justin, Coach Day said you took a bad sack in the game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through what play he's talking about? And how do you decide uh, when it's a good time to use your skill to get away from people and try to make something happen in a broken play situation? And how do you decide when it's time to maybe just go down and live for another play? Yeah, I mean, well, when I took that sack, that just was dumb. Um, I was just sitting back there way too long, but it was on um, towards towards midfield. It was a play action pass, and um, I just I just didn't see the guy coming. I, I was trying to, you know, I was waiting on uh, Ben and Austin to see if see if they can get open. But in that in that situation, you just have to throw it away. So that's definitely on me. The O line did a good job that play uh, blocking, and I had forever back there. So I just got to get uh, rid of the ball quicker. Well, they talk about a quarterback's internal clock. It's mm -hmm. just your second start, and I'm sure in high school you could probably do whatever you wanted yeah. to do against that level of competition. This mm -hmm. is a little bit different. Do you have an internal clock? Do you think it needs to be adjusted a bit? I mean, uh, in that situation, I was out of the pocket, so um, my internal clock wasn't really like kind of going off. So I, I was out of the pocket, and um, really, uh, I, I just have to see see that guy coming. So uh, he he kind of just blindsided hit me, and um, I, I just have to have better awareness and really just just get the, just get the ball out faster. Uh, middle row left, second row, first row left, Nathan. Oh, yeah. um, you get asked a lot of questions about your decision making in the, the passing game. How important or how much role do you feel like your decision making plays also in how well this team runs the ball and. How do you feel like you progressed from week one to week two? Wait, sorry, say that again. Just the deci your decision making. How much does it affect this running game, mm -hmm. as well? And 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 how do you feel like you progressed week one to week two? Um, I I feel like the running game kind of opens up more because the defense kind of has to respect me running the ball also. So I just feel like that opens JK up more. And then when he has those big explosive plays, that will also open up the passing game. So just kind of um, all of those uh, intangibles kind of complement each other. Did you see things from week one that you feel like you? Did better week two as far as reading fronts or making better decisions in the zones and um, like not that. not really. I mean, uh, the coaches do a great job and kind of just um, watching film and just just letting us know uh, what to expect come Saturday. So um, I, I really didn't didn't f like feel like any different to be honest with you. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, just to know real quickly, did, did you watch any of the LSU Texas game on Saturday night? And mm -hmm. How entertaining was that as a quarterback watching another quarterback sling it? Uh, that, I mean, um, I, I don't know those guys personally, but uh, just seeing seeing that, and um, uh, I guess that's just, that's exciting. I guess I don't I don't really know. Yeah, I was just trying to get an interaction yeah. from uh, number two. <laughs> with, out of, I'm sure out of the corner of your eye, you didn't see this, but when J.K. throws a block like he did on Saturday, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, are you, what do you think it is you see that, and what does that do for you guys as a group going forward? I mean, uh, he told me before that play, he, he got me, he has me, so uh, just just follow him. So I just trusted him, and uh, he, he threw a great block on that play, and uh, that's pretty much what let us uh, score. So um, I definitely can trust J.K., and I think he's one of the uh, best blockers in terms of being being a, a running back in the country. So. Did you notice, was he more 
more settled down in this game than he was the first week? I mean, what did you notice that was different about him? Yeah, so in the in the first game, he uh, I think he missed a block or something like that. So he was pretty upset about that, but um, because um, it because it usually doesn't happen. But um, this this game, he was definitely more settled and uh, definitely more confident. So I think the more confident he gets, the the better he'll play. Uh, right next door, Bill. How different did it just feel for you in, in week two versus week one, just the whole atmosphere? And, and what are your thoughts on going on the road for, your, for the first time? Um, it, it, I just felt more confident going into week two. I mean, um, so I, as I said before, I think the more confidence a player has, the better he'll play. And I'm um, just going on the road week two. I'm, I'm not going to try to treat it any differently. I'm still going to prepare the same way and um, yeah, just, just play the same way and just try to play smart. I know you're a confident guy, but, but is there anything that has surprised you about just kind of how seamlessly it has gone so far for you? Uh, no, not really. Um, I think I've done a great job preparing, um, so that's definitely paying off. So the hard work's pay, paying off, and um, I think uh, it's paying off for the whole team. Uh, we, we've worked really hard in the off season, so um, just seeing this uh, come out on the field was, was great to see. And last question, front row left, Doug. Uh, Justin, you faced your own defense all preseason. Mm -hmm. What? What have you thought of how they played for the first two weeks, and how would you describe the talent level on this defense? Uh, yeah, I, our defense is talented. Uh, it starts all up with Chase, so um, he's definitely, I think, the leader of the defense. And um, I mean, there we have talented guys everywhere. So going against them all off season, it definitely makes the game easier for me. So e even the scout team, they they give us a great look throughout the week. So uh, just just kind of getting those looks from the other guys across the ball um, just just helps me a lot on Saturdays. I said a couple times like his favorite plays are when you throw the ball away. Mm -hmm. Sort of what was being asked before. Is there anything with you of like you have to tell Coach Day like, listen, I know I got to throw it away. I got to be smart, but I promise you, a couple of these times when I hold it and try to make a play, it's going to pay off. Like that sometimes I am going to take a risk because it might lead to a huge touchdown. Well, in in those situations, you just have to know like all like all, all of what's going on you have to know the down and distance uh kind of what the score is in the game and just just make the smartest decision and, and the best decision for the game so um if that's the smartest decision and we're up uh, big then you just have to throw it away and just move on to the next play he says you can't win every play so um sometimes we have to live with second and ten so but if, if there's a time when the score and the situation is different and you guys need it you can maybe um, take a little risk and make a play if you need it yeah, I mean, depending on what I think I can do and what I think I'm capable of, but um, you, you just have to just kind of take all of those factors and just be smart and just do what's best for the team. Great. Justin, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.